Hey there YouTube, Arvinus69 here. Yes, it is indeed that time for the regular segment on the channel. Yes, you've guessed it, it is time for Zavi Zbox. Now, if you are new to the channel and unfamiliar with what this is, this is a subscription-based service from Zavi. You send them some cash and they send you one of these boxes through the post every month based on a theme. Now, I've been on Zavi's website um, numerous times today looking and I cannot find out what April 2021's theme is. So I'm going into this month's theme blind. I don't know what it is, so we'll just dig in the box and see what we've got and see if we can work out a correlation between the items. So, good start, good item in here. We're just gonna leave that to last. However, we'll get rid of, whoa, absolute ton of packaging and dig straight into the t-shirt. This is a, an official Nintendo licensed t-shirt. We have, look like Metroid. Yep, Super Metroid. Very, very nice. I do like the old retro, uh, old school retro stuff. Yeah, that's quite a nice t-shirt, that. Let's try it on, see how it looks. There we are, that is the um, Super Metroid t-shirt. Actually, really nice fit, nice and uh, loose under the arms. Very, very nice, nice and thick t-shirt this month. Right, let's see what else we've got in the box of this month. We have a, something in a bag. What have we got in a bag? Well, it's in a nice velvet pouch. Last time we had velvet pouches like this, we had coins inside. Nope, this is in fact a key ring. <laughs> and this is from the Mandalorian. That is very, very nice. Um, we're going to have to take a closer look at this because it is quite small, um, just so you'll appreciate the detail. Let's take a closer look. So, there we are. That is the Mandalorian Beskar ingot from the Mandalorian TV series. As you can see, it's got the nice detailed pattern, as we saw in the actual TV series. And as I said, the piece has got some weight to it. I'm not too sure whether it's metal or resin, but it's definitely weighty and definitely highly gloss finished. Very, very nice piece. Very, very nice, and as I say, it's a very weighty piece. That is absolutely gorgeous. I like that, I love the Mandalorian. Right, what else? So, we've got this from, is a Star Trek item. What have we got? Temporal weapon, I think. I think this is what this is. Ah, it says on the bottom here. The Krenim Temporal Weapon Ship. On the back of the base, I was right. Um, tell you what, I'll open this up, get it put on its stand, and we'll take a closer look. So there we are, that is the Krenim Temporal Weapon Starship model from Star Trek. It is a very, very well detailed piece, feels like it's uh, resin, could be plastic. Um, the way, base is definitely weighty, so it's going to hold it, and the stand is definitely unique to hold this actual model, but it does a very, very good job of displaying it. Very nice detailed piece. So yeah, that is quite a nice model actually. Um, as I say, comes off the base quite easy. Um, it's just a ball cut base that sits in like that. A little bit unsteady, but there we are. Yeah, that's quite nice. It's quite well detailed, that. I like that. Right, now then, there is one item left in the box and this is a huge item. This is a hero collection from AVP. Right, we'll get rid of this. This is the Alien and Predator figurine collection. The figure stands 120 millimeters tall, glow in the dark paint variant. This looks very, very nice. Um, also in the series, so it looks like there's some more in the series. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. But first, I'm gonna open this up and have a look inside. So it looks to be quite well packaged inside in styrofoam. Oops, there's a sheet of paper. We'll put that to one side. This is very well taped up together. Whoops, I think I've just split the, yeah, just cut the styrofoam. Let's see if we, wow, that's a lot of packaging for quite a small item. I honestly was expecting something much larger than that. 
Um, okay. Well, I suppose it wasn't going to break in transit. Um, AVP, Alien vs Predator, and Predator Vision Xenomorph. Sorry, Predator Vision Xenomorph, yeah. AL6948. Whether that is a unique number, I am not too sure. But there we are. I'll tell you what, we'll take a closer look and then uh, I'll see if I can get the lights knocked off and we'll get a look at it glowing in the dark because it's supposed to glow. So there we are. That is the box for the um, AVP Predator Vision Xenomorph. Um, as you can see across the bottom there, the other ones you can get. I would definitely like to get my hands on the Predator one as well, just to uh, put the Predator and Xenomorph side by side. So let's take a closer look at the model. So yeah, that is the uh, Xenomorph. Um, not too sure why I was shocked by the size there. I did read 120 millimeters on the box. I think it was just the volume of packaging to the actual size of the object that uh, threw me a little. It's very, very nice with it stood in its base of human skulls and bones, and the model itself is actually fairly well detailed. So what I'm going to do is kill the lights and see if we can get it glowing in the dark and see how it looks. Yeah, so there we are. Overall, not bad. Like I say, it's the, uh, the Xenomorph stood on human skulls and bones. It's actually fairly well detailed. has a bit of an odd texture feel to it. Um, yeah, just a little bit smaller than I was expecting from the packaging we had. <laughs> And uh, that is everything in this month's Zavi Z box for April 21, like I say. As for the theme, I'm going to guess, I don't know, space with Super Metroid being an android type thing from with a space suit on. We've got Star Trek spaceship, so I'm going to guess space or sci-fi theme. I'm not too sure. But anyway, like I say, we've got the Xenomorph, glow in the dark. We had the Star Trek temporal weapon ship which is actually quite nice and like I said we have the steel ingot and then last but not least the Super Metroid t-shirt and that was everything in the box this month on the whole not bad I like the Star Trek I love the Berserker ingot I like the t-shirt it's just a shame that this was like I say a tad smaller than I was expecting but overall actually not a bad box this month let's see how they continue going forward with the Zavi Z box do me a favor if you enjoyed this video, please smack the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, but please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought. And if you subscribe, let me know if you've got anything different in your box. And don't forget, if you can subscribe to the channel, it helps me out immensely. And until next time, take care.